the PARI model and looking at how we do law enforcement differently and how we view and deal with addiction was pretty significant for us. We learned that what we've done in the past as law enforcement has not worked and we need to look at things from a different perspective. We're a law enforcement network of organizations and public health partners really working together to be able to develop non-arrest pathways to substance use treatment in communities. Prior to our involvement with PARI, there really wasn't a lot for us to offer individuals. PARI bridges that gap and allows us to connect these various resources through public health often with our law enforcement response and allow us to get these individuals connected with who they need to seek treatment. It allows for those discussions to be opened up. Now we get to hear from different sides. We get to hear from policymakers, law enforcement leaders, health community leaders, and those in recovery, which is extremely important and significant. To hear those stories and to champion those people who have made it into recovery is astonishing. These programs are community-based programs that really elevate police officers in the eyes of their community, and it is really a great opportunity to partner as a community-based organization with law enforcement and really change the stigma that goes with addiction and treat families humanely that are experiencing this in their own lives. It's just incredible. I mean, there's hope. You know, there's hope in the community now. It's been a great opportunity to really break down the stigma and the negative perception, not just among people who use drugs, but also with law enforcement. The community sees that we care, that we're not just out there wanting to arrest our way out of this problem. Uh, we want to find a solution, and the solution isn't just putting handcuffs on people, it's that we want to truly help people solve the problem rather than think that we can just force them into stopping. We studied this on paper for the longest time, and nothing prepares you for the first person that comes in and says, help me. When someone walks in and does that the first time and you're able to witness that, I can't see how you wouldn't want to start a program like this to help somebody. 